It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be using a real-world ratio to solve a problem. Our math question today states that a new office building will have 640 workers. A construction code requires that new buildings have two restrooms for every 80 workers in the building. Based on the construction code, what is the total number of restrooms the new office building must have? and you're given four answer choices to pick from. So go ahead and pause the video here, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We know that we're finding the total number of restrooms for this new office building, so a real world ratio. We're told that 80 workers must have two restrooms. So for every 80 workers, the building must make two restrooms. So let's write that down. Workers to the number of restrooms. If there are 80, there must be two restrooms in the building. We're gonna create an equivalent ratio, which forms a proportion. We wanna determine if we have 640 workers in this new office building, which is gonna come over here, workers to restrooms. So if the construction code is if you have 80 workers, you need two restrooms, how many restrooms will we need if there are 640 workers in the building? So we want to find the relationship from 80 to 640. I know that 8 times 8 is 64. So 80 times 8 would be 64 and add a 0. 80 times 8 is 640. Since we multiplied the numerator of this ratio by 8, we must also multiply the denominator of the ratio by 8 to make equivalent ratios. 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. Therefore, I know that if there are 640 workers in this office building, they must build and construct 16 restrooms in the building to be up to code. So that is answer choice D. And there you have how to use a real-world ratio to solve a problem. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.